Hello, it's Jimmy again at Riley's Autos, and we've got a 2017 Peugeot Boxer 2.2 HDI with a vaporizer problem and DPF issues. So, we're going to look at fixing it and diagnosing it. We have got another video where we had a look at this van to do the tests on it, if you want to look at that. But uh, now, we're just going to show you what codes we've got and how we're going to rectify them. So here we've got the P15BE73 particle filter plug relay stuck closed PEF and we're going to remove the vaporizer and test it so we can show you and for these other faults you've got the EGR valve we're going to do that on a separate video but first here we're going to fix this one so we've got the van jacked and an axle stand on it and we're going to have to go underneath Above the subframe, along the exhaust here. Here you've got the fuel pump for the vaporizer and the fuel line that runs along there. And just there, where it's wet, that's our vaporizer. We've put some WD 40 on it. So we need to get in there and get that removed. This is what we're going to be using. It's a 22 millimeter crow's foot spanner. A crow's foot spanner, and it just attaches to our wrench here. And that's just going to help it to grip properly without slipping. Here we've got our ratchet on the spanner. Now we just need to press firmly on it to get it open. doesn't want to open so we're going to get a socket and extension onto it <laughs> see if we can get it open with a bit more leverage and that's not working either it's a bit tight so because this is not opening with our ratchet there and we don't want to round off the bolt what we're going to try and do is just grind this section off and remove that so then we're just left with the bolt and then we can try and get a decent socket on there which is we're going to have a lot better chance of getting it open. Use a rotary tool for that with a carbide bit. Now we can uh, try and remove some of these fuel lines out of the way and these cables and the section of the vaporizer that we've taken off. leaves us on an open access to get a socket on there which we're going to have a lot better chance of working out on this vaporizer itself you can see it's leaking diesel fuel so obviously we're cutting through that with fuel coming out it's diesel so not very much chance of it catching fire and um, we've never seen one we do a lot but always have your fire extinguisher just in case Sure that socket's hammered on nice and tight.
still struggling a bit on that, so I'm going to take this off and try using a breaker bar. and getting it out and you can see the state of it there that it's blocked now we've got the old piece out now if we were to test this because we've had to cut this one we can't really test it now because we couldn't get it out but we'd attach a mighty vac to it onto the fuel line and see if the pressure is rising if the pressure raises you know it's blocked On this section here, this red wire, and this rusty piece here, this is a glow plug that goes down inside, and that's what's going to be causing the issues on this. It's shorting out, and it's blowing one of the fuses, and we'll show you that in a minute. Now we can go ahead and fit our new part, and I'm just going to get it up there, get the rod. Stick it in the hole like that. That's what she said. And then we're gonna just get our bolts lined up. Just to make sure it's all aligned so we don't cross thread it. There's a little nut that slides into place. Probably better show you that. Here, so as you go around, that'll go into a hole and slide down. Where is that? It's just about, just about here. And that will allow you to get the thread on. fuel lines back over here to the pump and get our electrical connection plugged back up. This is up there. That's plugged in. So we're just going to leave this loose for a minute uh, just to make sure we've got fuel coming out of the fuel pump. We're just going to click here to tell her this had a new unit fitted. She can read this. Uh, we just have to wait for that to program in. And by putting our diagnostic on there, you could see that the primer pump is working. We come to the front of the van here and open the bonnet, remove the passenger headlight. We've got a few screws here. Just take this out. And in this section here, there is a fuse that's blowing. And that's related to the vaporizer. So we're going to put a new fuse in that. And that's our problem all sorted. No more warning lights. And we've still got the problem with the EGR valve. So we'll look at replacing that on another video. And after a test drive, we've got obviously these other two faults that are unrelated. But our P15BE-73 is gone. So that's the vaporizers part sorted and we can move on to the EGR valve on our next video.